Happy New Year, Fextonians! Here's this week's dose of RPG news. The action RPG Nier Automata has now exceeded 5 million copies sold, which was recently shared by the developer Square Enix. In a tweet on their official Twitter account, the developer has announced the news and a staggering number of copies now sold. Nier Automata was originally released in early 2017 on PlayStation 4 and PC, then later launched on Xbox One the following year. It was just this year in March when it reached the 4.5 million mark and now has gained around another half a million in units sold. Nier Automata is set in the world where androids are set to battle against the biomachines who have invaded the planet. A new android infantry called the Yora Squad are the last heroes to take down the invaders in this blend of action, combat and dramatic story. The next near game coming to consoles and PC is the remaster or rather upgrade version near Replicant 1.22474487139. Which will be coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam on April 24th, 2021, worldwide. In an interview with Famitsu director behind Neo and Neo 2, Fumihiko Yasuda shared that Team Ninja won't be working on a new entry for the Neo series next year, calling it a resting point for the franchise. Neo launched in 2017, which brought its own flavor of Dark Souls like combat with a unique tale to tell. The critically acclaimed title then got its sequel Neo 2, which launched in March 2020, with a host of changes including creating your own character plus cooperative mode for missions. It also received more content after its launch, the latest being the DLC The First Samurai, which added more challenging missions and the most formidable foes the series has seen so far. The director Yasuda was asked what their keyword was for 2021, and they said it will be all about transition. As for what's next for Team Ninja, that's yet to be seen, as it looks like they'll be focusing on something new. It looks like producer at Square Enix, Yusuke Saito, has his hands full for next year, as their latest end of year message in Famitsu confirms Babylon's fall is still coming. In the article, Saito shared an end of year message which asked him to share a keyword for 2021 and what he was working on next year. The keyword for 2021 is near, and he expressed further projects near reincarnation, the mobile game, and near replicant 1.22, which is the remaster of the original coming out this year. Saito also shared that the team are working on a brand new game. There is currently no information on what exactly that game is, but it's exciting to hear another game is in the works. In a recent interview on the Japanese website for Gamer, president of Level 5, Akihiro Hino, shared more about their plans for 2021, which will focus on developing games as well as cooperating in production of animation and other media. They are also currently working on an unannounced game which currently remains a mystery. Hino said he couldn't share any details about the title yet, but progress for the development is moving ahead. Level 5 are the studio behind the Nino Kuni games which brought the remastered version of Wrath of the White Witch to PS4 and PC in 2019, as well as a new platform on Switch. We'll have to wait to see exactly what this mystery title could be, maybe more Nino Kuni? CD Projekt Red have now launched an official website featuring upcoming downloadable content for Cyberpunk 2077. The website shares that the free DLC will be coming sometime in early 2021 this year. So far there are no exact details about what the DLC will contain. Previously, the developer had teased that more content will be coming this year for Cyberpunk 2077, describing future updates as substantial story-driven expansions. The plans also outlined a number of free DLC packs, which is similar to what happened with The Witcher 3. But it hasn't been smooth sailing for the launch of the game, which happened earlier in December. The developer was under fire as many fans of the games reported bugs and unplayable performance on last-gen consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This resulted in Sony announcing they would be pulling the game from the digital store and offering refunds for those who wanted to return the game. CD Projekt Red have been diligently rolling out updates for PC as well as consoles trying to fix some of the strange bugs and glitches that have manifested in the game, with the latest hotfix 1.06 being released last week for PC and consoles. In a recent Larry Major Nelson Herb's Xbox podcast, Xbox head Phil Spencer talked about the implications of the acquisition of Bethesda. In this interview, he mentioned that the final approval of the deal will be in 2021 and that it's all set 
which he is feeling pretty good about. Microsoft will remain hands off at this stage as the deal hasn't been completed as of yet. Spencer mentioned that Bethesda joining Xbox was very, very critical for Xbox's progress and moving forward. He also is looking forward to starting work with the company, as well as he's incredibly excited about Starfield, as well as other announced games and unannounced games. It was back in September when Bethesda was acquired along with its parent company for $7.5 billion. The acquisition grants Microsoft a number of major RPG franchises, which includes Fallout and The Elder Scrolls. Sony Interactive Entertainment has announced the January 2021 lineup for PlayStation Plus free games. This includes action RPG Greedfall and the Shark RPG or Shark PG Maneater. The free lineup for PlayStation Plus for the month of January 2021 includes a few very different games, so there is something for everyone to start your year off. Maneater, described as a Shark PG, will be available for PlayStation 5 and brings shark attacks with a whole different perspective. In this game, you're the Toofy Biter who will explore the open world RPG, first starting as a shark pup, then growing into a larger, more ferocious size. You can even tell your shark to your own playstyle. Fruitful is another title free with PlayStation Plus this January on PlayStation 4. The action RPG is all about discovering the new world. The title features a pretty impressive set of RPG systems, including the chance to put your own party together, customizing everything from magical abilities to armor. Also on the list for January is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This action adventure sends Lara Croft to South America, explore, fight, craft, and survive perilous dungeons and other unforgiving environments. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness.